Hey everyone, it's HostExaminer.com and we're going to be taking a look at HostMonster Web Hosting. Now HostMonster has two types of packages, the regular and the pro package. We're just going to be looking at the regular obviously. Now they have, of course have different um, plan lengths, one year, two year, and three year. That's their system, one year, two year, three year. They can't, they don't do monthly. Um, it's better to buy long term anyways and obviously the longer the length of the plan, the cheaper it is. They do offer a free domain name, which is always nice, one of my favorite features of web hosts, uh, and a 30-day money-back guarantee, and 24-7 uh, support, unlimited, all that stuff. cPanel, they do use cPanel. We got full tutorial videos on that, so let's go ahead and get started. Um, go ahead and click sign up now, and if you want to take advantage of your free domain name, so michaelbikes43, whatever your domain is, .com .net, and click next. And then go ahead and fill out the information. Okay, then scroll down, and here is the um, plan lengths so you can uh, choose. So one year, two year, or three year. So I'm going to do the one year. Uh, again, the cheaper it's cheaper if you do like two or three. Um, it's upfront one year, and then free setup, free domain. I'm going to uncheck these. I I personally would recommend domain privacy, but this is just an example, so I'm going to uncheck that. And then down here you can do Visa, credit card. I'm going to do more payment options and then do with PayPal. Pay this with PayPal. And then confirm red agreements and click next. And then log in. Again, you can use credit card if you prefer. I'm just going to do PayPal though. And then agree and pay. And then there's all these uh, like options you can purchase like uh, backup, upgrades. I'm just going to skip through them all and then click complete. And then before you can log into your account, uh, just go ahead and click create password. Here's all the account information. And then click create your password. Okay, and then click create when you have your password ready. And then you can go ahead and log in. And your username is just going to be your domain name usually unless they email you something different. And then the password is whatever we just created. And you're now logged in and you're good to go. So to get started you would just click a C panel here at the top. And it should automatically log you in and it just did here. Don't show this again, no thanks, blah, blah, blah. And you're now in cPanel. So for all the tutorials on how to get started with cPanel, uh, like set up your own email, install WordPress, any of these other features, overview, you can click the video, the links here or in the description below. And uh, that's about it. There's also shortcuts up here, like clicking email. These are basically just shortcuts for the cPanel. So you can click email to get to the email features, or you can just scroll down here and click under mail, you know, email accounts, forwarders, autoresponders, same thing. Over here, the domain name, your home directory, if you want to do like FTP and stuff. And uh, that's about it. They should send you a confirmation email also with uh, all this information. And here's the email right here, the email server. Uh, FTP username, password, blah, blah, blah. And there you go. If you have any questions, you can use our contact form on hostexaminer.com. The links will be in the description below uh, to get started. And thank you for watching.